Hello Transformers fans, welcome, my name is David Lees and in today's video I should be looking at the latest issue of Transformers, A Bold New Era. Uh, this is issue 12 and I have to say I am honestly now losing patience with the Transformers comic. Um, I think I've been well and truly ruined by Transformers 84, the recent one shot set before the original Transformers comic series um, and it's ruined me completely. Um, I have to come back to this. Um, and review by comparison, and it's it bears no comparison to the to the original, even the rewrite of the original, the Transformers eighty four. Um, I'll try and keep this brief because there's not much to say because not much actually happens. Uh, but introducing a whole new character, uh, this is Nautica, and uh, just to the left, uh, as you see, um, her bodyguard Road Rage, and uh, I have to say we start off with five paragraphs of text which all automatically and immediately led me to feel concerned, worried and uh, nervous, possibly even anxious about the, the contents of this week, of so this week's this month's issue. Um, abbreviated extracts from introductory principles for new recruits to Xeno relations. Uh, it turns out there are actually five non, um, non-transformer life forms, non-transformer life form species actually on Cybertron. The Aquathene, the Oven, the Occulted Dremden, the Thrall, and the Void. Um, these were never in the original. They, I don't see the point in them whatsoever. They are just a distraction. Um, and I'm pretty cheesed off, to be honest, that these are actually included. And I'm going to get through this just to actually get started. Um, if that wasn't bad enough, there are just four characters here in this week's, this week's, this month's issue. Nautica have mentioned... Her bodyguard, Road Rage, Starscream, who we all know, love, and uh, learn to get along with, and Sentinel Prime. Uh, don't get your hopes up too much, they have barely a page between them. Uh, Nautica is a deep philosophical thinker. Um, are you feeling nervous already? And, oh, there we go. Um, she travels around as a kind of xenobiologist, uh, diplomat kind of character. Are you yawning yet? Uh, this is really not. Transformers do its best, it, it's, it's horrendous. Um, but we go to this uh, view, this is actually set, and this will really um, sort of set your, uh, set your expectations. This is set before the uh, events of issue, Transformers issue 10. So more than two issues ago, we're now filling in retrospectively what happened um, on the, the spaceship with Sentinel Prime on. We have, uh, you can see a hound, Starscream, uh, some other characters that I can't uh, can't say I recognise, but some general Transformers, and I have to see some variety, some crowding. Uh, but yeah, Hound and Starscream are in there. This guy, possibly Sentinel Prime, can't tell from the back of him, to be honest. Um, two Cybertronians killed, such outrages, uh, such outrages, shame every one of us. They belong to a past we all thought gone forever, and make no mistake, it is gone. We will make sure of that, but to do so, we must make for home. All visiting delegations are departing now, and then we will go back to Cybertron. Um, there's this um, sort of suspicion that these Cybertronians aren't actually uh, Transformers. Um, I don't know if they're uninformed, misinformed, or, or what. Uh, yes, ugly news, here we are. It, it might be worse depending on which Void has been killed. I mean, Void? It was Brainstorm and uh, Rubble got killed. It wasn't a Void at all, so I don't know what's going on here. Um, and already it's got my back up, it's wonderful. Starscream conniving and uh, manipulative as usual, uh, it's possibly the best part of the whole issue, because it now goes on into a discussion between Road Rage, who is uh, a red female form of Trax, uh, the G1 uh, Corvette who was blue, um, and uh, they go walking through the spaceship, uh, no reference to this bug here, um, which I think comes in uh, more into the story later. Uh, no mention of these creatures here, um, sort of the head in a sphere. Um, but basically, um, it turns out that two of the um, Thrall delegates um, are conspiring to do something. It's not clear what. Are they going to pull in reinforcements? No, because that would be a sensible thing to do. Uh, and these are Autobots who never do anything sensible. Uh, lots of retrospective on where uh, Nautica was, how she mediates peace processes, how she works as a diplomat. It's, it's not good. I'm afraid it really isn't. Um, it turns out that one of the Thrall 
thrall, thrall, whatever, uh, has gone missing. Um, so Road Rage, who is the bodyguard to Nautica, go off looking. Um, this is a beautiful, this just epitomizes this issue for me and the whole um, series we've had. Uh, the thrall we're interested in wasn't there, which makes him unaccounted for. Can't have that. Oops, excuse me, just stop. Light bright. I know you're busy, but I'd like a quick scan, looking for any organics outside their expected zones. Now? Really? We're about to make close approach to Hexagon on our departure arc. Really? Don't worry, I'll wait briefly. And the, there they are, in the middle, feeling like most Transformers readers at this point, watching and waiting. I can't believe we're back to standing around. It, it's dreadful, it really is. Um, and then they start this, uh, this, again, this beautifully reflective and ironic um, sort of discussion from Nautica. Uh, imagine that, the completion of an inter interrupted genocide is a cultural, psychological imperative. Organic minds are quite astonishing sometimes. So she's criticizing these organic um, minds for being so narrow, but the completion of an interrupted genocide is a cultural, psychological imperative. Would be Megatron on Earth after the Ark crashed and he uh, was reawoken four million years later. Yep, that's him uh, with the interrupted genocide of the Autobots. Anyway, I don't know if that's in there deliberately, but it kind of made me smile. It's a light and the, the dark dreariness of the rest of this story. Um, so they go in and Road Rage crashes into this uh, holding area for some of the uh, organics that have been on board. Uh, it's empty, uh, but they find that one of the uh, animals that one of the species has been using for food has been uh, pulled open, had something stored inside it, gruesome. Um, and then they find it outside, um, it's this little bug that we saw earlier that the two Autobots were completely oblivious to, as usual. Um, so they go chasing after bodyguard moment. So we have bodyguard moment. We actually see some weapons fire. It's not all bad, it's just completely out of place. Uh, but they try and attack this thrall. Uh, it squashes the thrall completely. So there you go. Uh, but the bug, the bug bomb as it turns out to be, um, escapes. Let me zoom out slightly. There you go. Get it, get it. Um, the thrall spoke to this bug, which has a, a, a sort of artificial intelligence. Transformation of the week, folks. Uh, we have a transformation in this issue, which is Road Rage transforming into his vehicle mode. Uh, sorry, her vehicle mode, excuse me. Um, and then the bug teleports out uh, into the, uh, onto the hull of the ship. So they have to go around through a, an airlock to trap it down. Uh, they get more backup, which doesn't materialize because, hey, these are the Autobots and Autobots never get there on time. Um, Road Rage transports to her sort of aircraft mode and what he sort of chased, sorry, she sort of chases it off, gets uh, Nautica into safety in the middle of this sort of um, hole gap, um, this little cubby hole here. And security and close defense drones are coming, but since this could be time critical, I get to be the fail safe. So they put uh, Nautica into safety below part of the ship, underneath the hull, cause an explosion that shoots up, uh, blasts the bug bomb into space, where it subsequently explodes, that's there. Um, so we get an explosion, and Road Rage gets sh uh, stunned, but will recover, uh, so nothing lost there. A uh, little convenient possibly that this uh, explosion takes place directly underneath the bug, I'm hoping it was a larger part of the hull, um, it wasn't just a uh, fluke, uh, but I'm sure it wasn't. <clears throat> And that's pretty much it. Sentinel Prime gets three frames. Um, I'm not saying much because there isn't much to say, but I'm seriously considering suspending my, or suspending or ending my subscription to Transformers. Um, I now have Star Trek Year 5 running on, and I will get some reviews done soon, I promise. Um, but this is dreadful. I mean, it starts with, sorry, concludes with a to be continued. And if next month's issue, it's a continuation of this backstory. Um, I should be seriously disappointed and I will be ending my subscription. This is not what I signed up for. Um, two transformations. This is all diplomacy and conversation and it's protracted. And I know I was only seven or eight when Transformers originally came out and my views were more simplistic, but give me a good gunfight and some uh, verbal mudslinging any day. Um, you know, it's, this is just dull. 
uh, as someone one of the forums pointed out, this could be humans rather than transformers. There's so little robot activity actually going on. Uh, the cover gallery, I'll just go through this very briefly. Um, here's what you could have won. Uh, Prowl and Chromia investigating with Starscream overlooking them in the background. Sentinel Prime there too. Uh, Nautica as the cover, that's the cover we have for today. That's the one I have anyway. Oops, excuse me. Yep. Uh, alternative, Nautica underwater. Now there's an idea. Um, seems more appropriate for her. Um, talking to these uh, jellyfish. And then the, the alternative version, sort of the Art Nouveau style. This is what I'm going for. Um, this will be released very soon. It says September. Uh, a new monthly series beginning in September. I'll take that any day. The Constructor comes. Uh, I will learn all the names of all six of them consistently and get them right. Um, Transformers Galaxy is out in September. So I will be visiting my local, game, uh, local comic store, which for me is Forbidden Planet. Uh, so I rate Forbidden Planet uh, staff there, very friendly, helpful, knowledgeable uh, and very uh, very good at keeping my subscriptions for me. Transformers 84, I mentioned this at the start, this is what just ruins the new Transformers for me. Um, this, if you haven't got this already, uh, strongly recommend it. Uh, get it on order from your local gaming, sorry, your local gaming store, local comic book store. Um, it was out in August but they should be able to get it for you retrospectively. Uh, massively, massively recommend it if you've got any recollection of the original uh, Transformers comics. If you haven't, it's still good, but I, I, can't, I can't recommend it strongly enough. G.I. Joe, uh, no interest to me, but probably better than what we've read today. And then, um, yeah, Transformers is back and it's a joy. No, it's not. I'm afraid it's becoming a dull, dreary experience every week. Oh, sorry, every month. I keep calling it like... Um, so that's me. Please let me know what your thoughts are. Uh, please let me know if you've given up already, if you're planning to give up. Um, if you're going to persevere, uh, I shall be back in the near future with some with some Star Trek reviews um, and Transformers Galaxies, so look out for that in the next few weeks. As always, please do like, comment and subscribe and all the YouTube stuff, and I'll see you again very soon. Thanks for watching.